Okay, welcome back Jebel Ali. In this tutorial, we are going to use our variable that we've created and we're going to store a number that's typed in by the user. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So first thing we need to do is go back to our variable section, which is just here. And we're going to go down to where it says set app name. Okay, here. So set app. So that's the block we're going to use. I'm going to drag that on here. Now the name that we're going to write in here is going to be your variable name. Okay. So I'm going to type in this. Now you've got to be careful. You've got to spell it exactly the same with the if it's got capitals, it must have a capital. So mine is N-U-M-B-E-R underscore one. Okay. So that is matching the name of my variable here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it whatever's typed in to our number one text input. You remember what we did here. Text input is just here. Now, you should have named it properly. If you remember, I've got mine here, and mine is called number one. So make sure you've named it properly. So go back to my blocks. So in here, I'm going to go to my number one, which is just here. Okay. And now what we're looking for here is text input. Okay. So there you go. So from number one, get text. That's very important that you're getting the text that's typed into the number one text input. I'm going to drag that and you'll see that that goes nicely inside here. Okay. So basically what it's doing is the variable called number one, which is here, is going to be assigned whatever the person types into the text input. So that's for a number one. Now we need to do exactly the same for number two. Okay. And a quick way of doing this is if you right click on your first one and you click on duplicate and then all you need to do is change two things. The variable name, which is number two for the second one. Just like that. And also the text input. So remember my next my text input now is from number two. So I'm going to choose number two from the list. So let's have a look at that now. So our variable called number one is assigned whatever the person types into the text input number one. And our number two variable, which is here, is assigned whatever's typed in to the number two text input. And those two can go together for now. Now, so what you've done now, you've assigned user input and stored it in the variable, the two variables. Next, we are going to perform our first calculation. Okay. And I'm going to stop there. I'll leave that code on the screen for you. And I'm going to look at that in the next tutorial. Okay. So we've assigned a variable and in the next tutorial we'll do the first calculation. Okay. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care. See you soon.